Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern. It is the morning after Goldwell's Global Zoom 15. We are in Las Vegas, and it was a big night because uh, two winners, we have two winners with us, and they're both from the U.S. It's pretty exciting. I want to introduce you to them. I know you've met them before with us, but, but we have Harley Labasso. And Harley, tell us what category it was and the name of your salon and where it is. I'm Harley Labasso from Delray Beach, Florida, salon hair by Scott & Company, and my category was creative. Hi, I'm Corinne Brown. I'm from Seattle, Washington. My category was partner, and I'm representing Salon Circa. It was so exciting, and I was honored to be a judge. I, I, got, I knew when, when I saw both your pictures and your live models, I knew you guys were going to win. It was, they, they were fantastic. There was a lot of wonderful things going on there, but you guys were totally exceptional. Uh, we spoke earlier. Again, it was last night, so I'm so happy that you guys are here bright and early with me. Um, what were the surprises? You guys trained for, for months and months, and you were prepared for the hours. And we'll start with you, Harley. What were the surprises to you? You know, even with training and training, it's still, no matter how you plan, it's going to come up totally different than what you expect, whether it's the way you set your bowls in the tray or thinking that you're not going to have a lineup by the sinks. It's just, you have to just ride the wave and, and go with it and remember that this is what you do every single day. And you told me that it was very interesting that you were not prepared right next to you. And again, the lineup, you're, you're really close to each other. There was an interpreter. And you, you were listening to that, and it was kind of disrupting you. Yeah, talk about disruption. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you because, you, like, you're working and you're concentrating when you're training in silence or you're listening to your music. You have to go with the heat of the moment, and you're sweating. And you just ride the just ride the wave, but yeah, having the interpreter, you don't you can't expect that. Yeah, the, the unexpected. And Corinne, were there any surprises, either positive or negative? I mean, what what can other people learn from you? What can we expect? I think the biggest surprise was winning gold. Um, that was a huge surprise. Uh, I think, but mostly, I was very surprised how much work it takes to do this. I mean, it is really a commitment, and you have to love it. We were told you have to love it to do it. And it's true, if you don't love it, you won't do it, you won't be successful. And I have 22 mannequin heads at my house and my salon that I've done before this, and it's just a crazy amount of work. But on the floor, like my only really surprising experience was how sweaty my hands were and how many gloves I couldn't get on because my hands were so sweaty. I ripped like eight pairs of gloves. Thing to be prepared for. Uh, were, the, were, were, the, were the competitors nice? Was it a lot of doing this, or were they were they all supportive of each other? I think everybody was really nice. I didn't yeah. see a single negative person. Um, I, the candidate from Canada in my category, you know, we're really competitive with each other, and we were both really nice to each other. He wished me well. I wished him well, and I think I saw a lot of wishing well. There was nothing negative at all. And you? Any you? Yeah, I mean, being like a true artist, you can appreciate other people's art. And we're all here for a reason. And everyone is so in their zone. You have to worry about creating your thing and, and not paying attention to what other people are doing. And everybody wants everyone to be successful. It was a really good vibe. All right, my last question, what does this win mean to you? Whoa, that is a huge... <laughs> <I know. laughs> in in uh, 10 seconds or less, what does this win mean to you? I know you've been, you've been doing this for years. So. For years. And you know what? Corinne and I were talking and I said to everybody that enters and doesn't win, it's not that your work wasn't good. It's that there is a collection out there that is made for you. I am a rebel every single day of my life, so I didn't have to try. The inspiration just comes to you. You can't force inspiration and feeling. So if you haven't won yet, it's because the right collection of who you are has just not came to you yet. And winning should be from the very heart. You want to win on something that is truly you. And Traditional Rebels was a thousand percent me, and I just did me. Well said, because it is appropriate. The little that I know of Harley, she is a rebel. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I had a really interesting year. I moved to Seattle, and it was scary. And I started with no clientele and have been building. And I think that this is like the trophy for all of my hard work this year and taking really scary big steps. And I, I mean, it, I'm coming up on a year mark of being in Seattle and I think this is the best way to end my first year in a new scary place. So great. Congra congratulations, you guys. You're both so incredibly well-spoken, and obviously your passion thro shows through. And congratulations. Beautiful work. Great win. And I'm um, so happy to spend this time with you. Thank you very much. Bye.